to my channel this is daily rambles today we're doing arrow and we're doing the episode in season two league of assassins so let's jump right into it i'm going to try to look better i said this in the last episode so i'm not going to go back into it so anyway so we have a flashback scene where oliver and sarah are on the queen's gambit and they're flirting and talking and kissing and all this stuff and then the storm's getting really, really bad, and this here this crack, and then the freaking mattress flips them and hits them across the wall, and then the boat kind of just snaps in half, and then the boat goes bye bye, and so does Sarah. And then we go back to the present where Sarah is crashing at Oliver's house, and uh, then Sarah and Oliver have a little heart to heart, which is a really good moment, and then. We cut to Laurel is in the, is on the DA's team for Moro's case. And Oliver is furious at her. But as she asks the asks her if she is okay. And she's like she's just she doesn't know how to respond to that. She's like, I feel horrible and you know, she doesn't want to prosecutor but like she's on the team and she has no choice really and then we have a flashback scene where Sarah um, we find Sarah and she's stranded on a piece of the wreckage and she gets rescued by Ivo and then we have the current day where it's Oliver it's Oliver Sarah and Oliver it's Oliver let's go with that if you like that comment down below if you like that ship name Oliver. <laughs> anyway, so um, Oliver and Sarah get attacked, and it turns out that Sarah's in the League of Assassins, and Oliver's like, what? <laughs> and then we go to a flashback scene where um, Sarah's aboard the freighter, and she gets put in a cage. And then um, she's starting to freak out about it. She's like really, really scared and upset. And then um, we go back to the present where Mora wants to take the deal because I offer a deal to her where she has like, I think, 20 years in prison or something like that. And she kind of wants to take the deal because she has a secret. And then um, they show up. And then we cut to a scene where Oliver and Sarah show up to an abandoned plant. Um, it turns out the league has a bunch of people, so but they escape. And then we have a flashback scene. Where Sarah sees a strange man, and then we cut to the present where, um, uh, because um, they go to the present because the legal assassin's guy says, I'm going after your family until you come back with us. And so, um, Sarah goes to protect Aunt Quentin, and then, um, Errol is protecting Laurel. So, uh, going back to the Quinn scene, um, Sarah reveals herself and it's a very emotional scene which is so freaking good it's a really good scene because like Quentin is basically sobbing and ugly crying and all this stuff they're both ugly crying it's a really good scene and let's see here so then um, Sarah and um, Quentin talk and then Quentin is starting to put the, the pieces together because he's actually a very smart person and then um, we talk, then we go to a flashback scene where um, Sarah talks to Ivo, and Ivo wants to save the human race, and the reason that is he wants the mirror crew and stuff. And then um, we go to Laurel, um, you know, Oliver going to do a check on Laurel and like getting dinner and stuff, and then Laurel kind of misreads the signals because he's legitimately just out checking up on her as a friend. She takes it the wrong way, and then Laurel's having a pity party, and then her door is unlocked, and then um, Oliver found a knife but doesn't show it um, to Laurel, and she said, "Oh, you just you just kind of you forgot to lock the door." Blah blah blah, and leaves. And then Laurel takes some pills, and then it, and then it's Sarah and Quentin versus the League. 
and then Lance, um, Quentin and Sarah have a moment, and then the queens band together, as, you know, for Moira, and then um, we cut to Lance and Laurel have a moment, then um, we cut to Oliver and Dix sharing a drink, and then we have a flashback where Sarah kicks Oliver. <laughs> that's, that's how it ends up, Sarah just kicks him. We don't know what happens, but that, yeah. Anyway, so um, that was a really good episode. I do like, I'll give this an A-plus episode. It was really good. I really liked it. And I like, I just like all the character developments that are happening with this. It's so good. And I love the, um, also the fight scene looks this are really good because they're starting to go on more theatrics with the League of Assassins type of style of fighting, which I really, really like. It's like, a mix of Circus Soleil with like martial arts. I really do like it a lot. It's really good. And just, just the character developments, you see Laurel's going down an even crazier path and then you have this and that happening. It's just so great. And they got Moro's Trial, which is like a media circus. And they're really emphasizing that because celebrities had it super bad back then. So um, it's a little bit better now, but still not great. But anyway, um, if you like this video, because I'm done, <laughs> uh, give it a like, comment down below, do you agree with me, disagree with me, and just let me know what you think down below, because I really do appreciate it. And then subscribe for more awesomeness for me, because I feel like I'm getting a little bit better at this, so uh, let me know what you think down below. I really would like to hear your thoughts on it, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, everybody. <laughs>